Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy with another best of five series in between the two pro female players here. A great international engagement in between the United States of America and Canada. So yeah, let me just start by introducing the players once again to you. As in the lower left in the red, we have spawning Nina from the States and her opponent spawning in the upper right from Canada as the blue zerg. It is of course Scarlet from Canada. Now this game has been played in 2022. But it's not from the new patch, so I still believe that queens can heal their forces if they're not on creep. So yeah, let's just see exactly how things will unfold, what exactly the two female pros have prepared for us. It is a best of five series, as Nina already preparing here her wall off against any early aggression. And Scarlet also placing here her expansion, given the fact that the probe from Nina... Has nicely blocked here the entrance. I was always wondering if Protoss can actually send out two probes to block this one as well, or even three. Perhaps it would get the Zerg a little bit max, uh, messed out. And yeah, let's see at the build order now from the Zerg. We have an extractor and spawning pool for a Scarlet. So yeah, your pretty standard open up for any Zerg gas is now up for Nina as she's also preparing her expansion here, or perhaps she might try a cybernetic score let's have a look yes indeed it is a fast expansion the map is 2000 atmospheres i believe a two spawning location map as yes things don't really appear to be as an early aggressive for both players they're just preparing their macro orientated game and i believe that scarlet should of course continue with her next expansion into this location Overlord is also nicely moving here forward pretty soon, giving you know, important information, of course, to her. You see exactly the build order from Nina, but it is, of course, your pretty standard open up core into the fast expansion and the main with that second gas. But hold on, we actually have a hidden pylon into this location, so this might be a little bit of a cheesy gameplay here for Nina. Perhaps she's going to continue with a robotics facility, but it could be an option with some immortals. Or perhaps a starport. Let's have a look what her option is. It is indeed a stargate, not starport, yeah. <laughs> so we might see some oracles, we might see some void rays. Void rays, of course, will be strong, especially if you add some shield batteries. So some shield battery could be placed here by Nina. And let's see what her decision is going to be. Of course, the overlord sees everything, however, he doesn't have vision from the main yet as Nina could have hidden, hidden a island here into this location. But yeah, currently both players are just adding more and more workers. We see the same worker count here for both of them. Scarlet continuing with her second expansion as some Zerglings do move out. And of course you can see the production tab in the upper left part with speed also almost being done here. So in case I'm missing something, you can of course see the timer and see the production tab just for your personal information. And we do see actually a oracle coming out now really soon for Nina. Let's see if Scarlet has some defenses here. It's just one queen, so the oracle could be really, really deadly against uh, Scarlet. Perhaps uh, Nina is going to wait for her second overlord, the second oracle, sorry. But no, she's actually heading straight towards the main from Scarlet. And unlucky enough, Scarlet is now moving out, being distracted by this one at depth. But yeah, the real damage dealer is, of course the oracle four kills for this one even five now so a hero oracle for nina in the early game really really nicely done especially with this one adept chasing the queen away from the main so that was really really smartly maneuvered here by nina as she's adding a second oracle but yes yeah, scarlet reacting of course to this sending out some zerlings as the pylon should be empowered really really soon there is that second overlord or oracle sorry two oracles now but there's lots and lots of queens for scarlet and a spore let's check the main also spore being prepared two queens yes scarlet now finally being able to fend this off as her zerglings will of course take out the stargate yes some zerglings have to of course be killed the oracles adding more and more kills to themselves five kills for this one four for this one so really really great option by the Protoss showing us the strengths of the air toss early on against the Zerg. Now, yes, some Zerglings do move here forward, but Nina already preparing her second expansion as her Oracles are nicely 
being placed here in the middle of the map just giving her dominance and vision of the min uh, middle of the map she comes once again through might snipe one drone or two one drone is being settled so yeah nice nice job here by Mina, uh, nina keeping scarlet at bay scarlet has to of course add more anti-air and so on perhaps she's going to transition into some hydros as hydros are pretty much good against anything if you ask me let's have a look at nina's base once again she looks like she's going to transition into some gateway units which is being done we might see mass stalkers with zealots could be a possibility blink is also being researched and yeah the second expansion is also about to finish as the oracles are still flying around still giving vision and important information for nina see the crabs uh, the creep spread pretty pretty good those queen eggs are nicely spreading even beyond the stones as uh, scarlet looking like she's preparing a an attack here she's at the middle of the map she's going to snipe the rocks and her roaches really really important numbers some ravagers even queens to make it out and perhaps she's going to add some zerbing so this looks like a timing push for scarlet against nina let's see if nina is going to be prepared for us she's already making some uh shield batteries as the queen slowly but steadily move here forward and zerbings are also here nice fields here against to end up the attack Nina not having speed yet done of course for those zealots weapons one of race is also almost being done he has some sentries actually five sentries some stalkers but yes scarlet with a really, really scary push this rock is very important to hold here for Nina and a nice nice stasis trap being used by Nina just to fend off all of those zerglings from the back so great great anticipation for her so let's have a look scarlet is in the front with her zerglings backed up by those queens in the back and those ravagers of course with those ravager balls really really strong the force fields are also really, really nicely placed splitting the army from the zerg but now the stasis trap has expired as in come the reinforcements for scarlet but those shield batteries really looking strong to hold against this push and yes somehow nina is going to hold here this attack even the orcas doing nice nice damage here sentries and stalkers it is zealots of course have been sacrificed but they did their job as now even the orcas are attacking in come the reinforcements from scarlet but in the end i believe it is enough for nina to hold this attack so yeah nice nice job by her sniping here unit after unit and also those queens really, really important getting snapped that's a huge loss for scarlet against her opponent nina here nice blink even forward nina feeling really really confident with her zerglings but look at that creep spread scarlet already making here her way towards the expansion point but that blink once again forward by nina sniping so so many units and those orcs look at that six kills on this one no hold on 10 kills on this one i can't even count and six on this one so yeah really really nice hold by nina against scarlet scarlet has to lick her wounds and she's perhaps going to prepare another attack as we're closing that 10 minute mark now so yeah of course the protoss with those shield batteries looking really really strong nice nice hold by nina let's check the um buildings once again we have a robotics facility bay so she might transition into some immortals perhaps some colossuses and we see five gateways here in the main with templar archive so we might see some storms we might see some high tempers really really strong unit to have against zerg and after the storm has been casted of course archons can be spawned so yes yeah, scarlet staying at queens with roach ravagers he finally being able to take out the stargate and perhaps also taking this expansion here meanwhile these two oracles are still alive for nina so those two hero oracles within a total of 16 kills nice nice job by her not only that they stayed alive and killed units but they also give now vision to nina as she knows exactly the build order now at around the 10 minute mark and even doing a flyby but yes yeah, scarlet being prepared for that with some queen sadly now nina finally losing one oracle as scarlet has to of course remake all of those units especially those queens but at the same time nina feeling really really confident taking her third expansion here so nice nice job by her as she's also doing a little bit of long distance mining and we do see the high tempers now it's three of them a really really strong unit actually four of them with that storm so yeah if the 
Berg has of course such a high force clumped up together those storms will be really really deadly against this as Nina is now just checking the proximity also sniping those queen eggs just to stop this creep highway look at that almost making it here through to the second expansion so yeah nice nice job here by Nina clearing this out Scarlet also looking really, really strong with her roaches some zerglings are being added ravagers and let's see what her next units are going to be perhaps she's going to transition into some ultralisk we might see some vipers we see a lurker then actually so she might go for lurkers lurkers with splash damage really really strong of course and nita deciding to go straight for archon so not going to cast any high temper storm straight for archons as she's now moving forward towards this expansion point and yeah, let's see if she can snipe something one queen already dead here so those zealots in the front looking really, really strong and tanky as now the uh, archons are in the front nice force fields once again really really great force fields here by nina and the storms are also really really strong catching so so many zerg units but nina has to reposition one archon has fallen and yeah both players just decide now to hold back but hold on we actually have a nice war prism here with a nice teleport by those zealots of nina multitasking here attacking at two fronts great great storms once again catching many units and also those zealots sniping so so many workers here 10 workers already being killed we do have vipers now in the air great storms however nice bonus here by uh, scarlet as she's going to snipe that immortal and those high tempers but yeah those zealots here dealing the perfect amount of damage here even might snap this expansion really really strong stuff here by nina as scarlet has to bring back some units to defend here and here those vipers will also be really important but at the same time another drop here by nina against scarlet so scarlet pretty much caught off guard with these nice drops even eight more workers have been killed so worker wise now nina all of a sudden in an advantage and even more and more drones are being killed so here of course the zealots will fall but they have done their job as scarlet has to just pretty much split her troops left and right so nina causing some great great chaos while her economy looking really really strong 55 now workers only for scarlet scarlet really really suffering and nina knows of course this as she's also taking now the nine o'clock position so really really great game by her great harassment and yeah those stasis traps also looking really really good for her so yeah scarlet pretty much has to remake now those drones has to remake some of the army actually her army looking really, really strong but then again as soon as the economy is going to be kicking in for nina those protos units will be looking of course really really deadly especially the immortals archon switch splash damage also looking really strong and let's not forget the high temper storms and those hero zealots of course the hatchery has been sniped here scarlet has to remake everything lurkers are now being left behind and it looks like nina is once again going to prepare an attack towards scarlet this time two archons three immortals in the back most immortals really, really important actually four archons some stalkers and more and more stasis traps one queen is going to detect the attack but already getting killed here as we also see weapons 2 being upgraded and once again nina multitasking here really really nicely while she attacks and keeps the forces at bay from scarlet this time not paying attention sadly for her some zealots don't attack but that's okay it happens when you just multitask so much yeah this time scarlet with a nice spread will be able to hold here but still 10 drones have been killed yeah really really good stuff here still by those zealots once again giving their lives for ire sniping 13 workers scarlet perhaps a little bit clumsy here not microing those drones out of arm but yeah it happens of course so 13 kills here for nina once again scarlet dropping at 16 workers as nina is taking control from the middle of the map really really hard game here for scarlet as yeah nina nicely multitasking just pretending to attack here into this location but at the same time that war prism with that teleport perfect perfect multitask by her just to snipe just to harm the economy from the zerg as much as possible and now even more and more immortals are being added of course immortals really really good against roach ravagers and the lurkers as well even great against ultralisk in case the zerg decides to go for ultralisk 
we do see those organs of course also nice nice unit not that fast not that uh, fast unit but still with that splash damage doing so much harm and you always leave some high templars behind with some storms let's see scarlet is being maxed out she's moving out with some roachers and she might also try to multitask here some vipers are being left behind lurkers of course a perfect unit to defend against any aggression but there should be a overlord sorry a observer here for nina let's see is it somewhere in the back it's really, really important for her to have that observer and i believe there it is so yeah at least one observer even two so here we go lurkers now borrow but they're being revealed a nice nice attack here once again but a good flank this time by scarlet she's going to be taking out quite some units even one and two immortals have been killed so scarlet with a much much faster moving speed against anina as nina is now transitioning into some carriers so carriers it is for her you might see a mass carrier fleet for the protoss against the zerg so this should of course uh, immediately scarlet transition into some corruptors as she saw those carriers in the air but this could of course be a fake uh, carrier push by her she might transition into more immortals and more archons backed up by zealots of course so as soon as that will happen all of those corruptors will of course be useless let's see we do have some infestors so we might see some mind control by nina against by scarlet sorry by scarlet for those archons even for the carriers so yeah infestors really really strong there's a nice harpoon once again catches one beings but at the same time still nina just expanding all over the map her economy looking really, really strong 81 workers for her and even taking this place here so really, really aggressive uh, expansion set out here by nina against scarlet scarlet being cornered here she also tries to expand her units a little bit uh, hurt let's have a look how things will unfold as it's still anyone's game Quite a strong army mix by both players. We do have infestors, vipers, of course. Also, really, really important for Scarlet. And yeah, let's see when exactly a push is going to come and what exactly Nina is going to uh, try to uh, do here. Grab some zealous just to snap this one expansion. But yeah, nice walling being created by Scarlet. As once again, Scarlet splitting her troops, having some corruptors, some roaches here. Nina sees this of course as her main fleet is of course here and yeah, once again a nice mix we have five immortals some carriers our concern of course those high templars which are hidden let's see does she feel confident many many spores of course by scarlet but the reinforcements are coming in the fleet is getting bigger and bigger here for Nina however lots and lots of corruptors for scarlet and lots and lots of harpoons could be added and let's not forget those infestors in the back with mind control would be really really strong so let's have a look the archons are in the front no zealots here for nina so yeah nice psionic storm once again but we do have parasitic bombs against all of those uh, units we once again see a drive by here by those zealots the real action however happening here into this location so we have blinding clouds parasitic bombs all of the way we do have now those uh, corruptors coming in and they will be able to snipe so so many carriers so i don't know why scarlet just stayed back mind control also being used infester are being killed now yes yeah, scarlet looking really, really strong here against nina but at the same time her expansion sadly for her has fallen as she has dropped to 53 workers now and even this expansion has fallen so where exactly she's mining from only from this expansion once again the zealots do pull in here and yeah, once again, many, many workers could fall for Scarlet. Scarlet needs to be careful. Five more workers have fallen, even seven. And yes, Scarlet finally understands that the economic advantage would have been, of course, overwhelming for her. Look at that. It's the double amount of workers for Nina against Scarlet. And yeah, Scarlet taps out. So Nina taking game number one. Let's just jump straight into game number two. It, once again, let me just start by introducing the players to you guys as we are spawning in the upper left in the blue. It is Scarlet from Canada. And her opponent in the lower right, in the red, it is Nina from the States taking game number one. So the score is, of course, not correct here. Nina leading with 1-0 to zero against her opponent, against Scarlet. Such, such a nice long first game here. In the end, the economic advantage would have been, of course, overwhelmingly here for 
Nina as those two oracles in the early game really really made so much happening for her the snapping those five drones and so many more causes here for her to have the advantage against the opponent so yeah let's just see how things will unfold this time is the timing push going to happen by Scarlet as the first time as she did that in game number one those shield batteries were really strong for Nina as she held with those sentries as well let's see if Scarlet is going to once again try this against uh, uh, Nina as we have a small map here light shade to spawning location and yeah we see pretty much the same build order by both players gas into spawning pool expansion first of course and the overalls are already scouting here the map the same can be said here by Nina so not nothing out of the ordinary as she will very likely continue with a nexus and perhaps a cybernetic score really really soon is going to be added nothing out of the ordinary second gaze gas will of course also be taken 2250 gas here available for the protos there's that cybernetic score leaving a little bit of a gap open here so some zerglings could pull in notice that this time nina did not decide to block the expansion just now moving out with the scouting drones around the one minute and 30 second mark in comes the probe just to see the expansion so yeah nina knows that no early aggression is coming towards her way just going to stay around just to see exactly when that second expansion is going to come out or if there is going to be some push with some zerlings so yeah expansion is about to finish we see once again a stargate this time not hidden around the map just straight here into the main and yeah just a couple of zerlings now moving out for scarlet and let's see her next move there is that movement speed being done and we see the second expansion around the 2 minute and 30 second mark for Scarlet as her queens are also now already spreading that creep as much as they can one queen in the main one queen here just two zerglings i believe it is enough for her to hold of course as there are no zealots being prepared for nina and she actually goes into a second gateway with warp gate also being researched let's see what this stargate is going to build it's going to be actually a void race this time so no oracles just straight void race i believe she really wishes to snipe this one overload second gas is up no gas here at the expansion point this both players pretty much at the same worker amount and yeah the void rate should come out really really fast just to snipe this one overlord and let's see at the next steps here by um call it let's see the timing if she's actually going for a timing push once again with roaches and ravagers when exactly is she going to be building that roach war and i don't see it yet here out on the map just another hatchery so yeah we're closing in of course at the five minute mark the expansion is pretty much ready now but no roach warrant yet for here for her we do see some spores so she actually thinks that a void ray push might come towards the way we see an oracle so yeah she looks like she's going to be really pretty much prepared with a queen a, sp a nice spore against this yeah let's have a look at nina nicely rolling in adding two gases as she's preparing the harassment this time with a later uh, oracle as this one voidway will of course give protection towards this expansion point check once again the main Still, I don't see a Roach Warrant for Scarlet. So she might go even Ling Bane. It could be an interesting move by her. As the first Oracle comes in. But there's two Queens here. No Spore. Just two Queens for Scarlet as the one Oracle. Looking like already killing two. Even three, four. So yeah, once, once again Scarlet taking some damage out of those Oracles. Just like in game number one. As the Oracle is just going to now disappear and just wait for her, that shield to come back online so nice nice job once again by nina adding this one oracle i believe she could continue with a two second oracle you know she decides to go for void ray and yet another stargate so we might see some mass void race here by her would be a really, really interesting idea and there is this one roach warrant actually being finished now so at the five minute mark the roach warrant has been finished and the first roaches are being prepared call it and both players still at the same worker amount nice relevance here 
Quest Roaches are out. Creep spread looking like once again really, really strong by uh, Scarlet as she's now making her way past the middle of the map. Of course, the Oracles are in the air just to give information, and now he's, she sees finally that a really, really strong push out is being prepared once again by Scarlet. Zerglings are in the front, Queen's also there to back up, and yeah, she this time, interestingly enough, Mina decides to go for cannons. So no mass shield batteries, just straight cannons. And let's see, queens are of course really, really slow now, not on creep. But more and more units are being added by her. Zerglings and Roaches and Ravagers. Let's have a look, does she have some defenses here? Not that many shield batteries, just one being made now. So Scarlet knows of course that a lot of defenses are here into this location. So she's straight going to ignore that and head straight towards the main entrance by Nina. So Nina responding with shield batteries. Having those void rays in the air really, really strong. And then again, there's Queen Queens here, also for uh, Scarlet. So, yeah, Scarlet adding more and more. Sadly for Nina, she has lost power towards those gateway and cybernetic score. One Queen is about to be killed. We see, of course, that Queen can heal themselves even though they're not on creep. Where this is a previous patch in 2022. More and more is being added, of course, a little bit imbalanced as many Queens ha healing themselves. This has of course been changed as more and more buildings are falling here sadly for Nina. Nina tries her best with those void rays, sniping unit after unit, but more and more is being pulled in, especially those servants. And yeah, the Nexus taking quite some damage. The Nexus might fall here for Nina. Nina sadly losing this one. Of course, she's going to snipe many, many workers. Those shield batteries in the back, giving good backup. And even now some servants, even some roaches do make it here soon. So probes have to fight for their lives. Six probes have been killed, sadly for Nina. The expansion has also been lost, but in the end she's able to survive. Worker-wise she did lose quite some workers as she's at only 15. And now she's trying a counter with six void rays and this could be really strong. Especially given the fact that there's not that many queens. She's heading straight towards the expansion. Now going for this one spore. And she has to micro those void rays out of the fireballs from the ravagers so yeah nice nice early harassment once again scarlet showing us a timing push i'm being a little bit more deadly she's able to snap the expansion and able to take out some units nina also smartly running here by straight to this location it's just one queen here and yeah let's have a look some units should be snapped here out of those void rays one overload is getting targeted she might go for those drones don't understand why exactly she's moving back just a couple of three queens here so nina retreating interesting enough yeah perhaps she was fearing a, another push here by scarlet and now she's coming back but now there's already so so many queens for scarlet and we even see hydros for her so hydros will be strong against those voidways so yeah the voidways are already a bit trapped scarlet with a much faster moving speed against those void rays on creep one has been snapped and yeah nina just decides to teleport back as two void rays sadly for her have been snapped but now scarlet having those uh hydras really really great anti-air as she's looking like she's once again preparing an attack we do close in at a 10 minute mark creep is once again really, really nicely spreaded let's see if nina can hold this push once again Many many void rays, they will be backed up by those shield batteries. But the incomes scarlets heading straight towards those ravagers, towards those shield batteries, income the void rays, but yeah, Scarlet's just going to wait here for her backup, especially for those queens. Those queens of course really important for that healing, for that anti-air. As more and more shield batteries will be sniped here, and this is looking really really strong, really really deadly. I just do get killed, but also healed as some workers will fall already five workers have been killed and yeah nina is going to tap out here as scarlet taking this game really really nice nice transition for her into hydras so one one it is a score let's just jump straight into game number three three in between the two pro female players this time spawning on blackburn in the lower right in the red it is nina from the states and in the lower left in the blue it is scarlet from canada but I believe she's currently living in South Korea. I could be wrong. Maybe she has changed her uh, living style. I still have to look that up on Google. So yeah, let's see how 
Things will unfold here in game number three. Currently, it's one to one. Scarlet with a great timing push, followed up by their transition straight into Hydras, giving her, of course, an advantage against those void rays from Nina. Nina deciding not to go heavily on oracles early, just one oracle. Still being able to snipe four workers, so she might try to once again hide a stargate into this game just to attack the economy from Scarlet as much as possible. Currently, the build order looking really, really same just like in the previous game so nothing nothing out of the ordinary gateway into gas for nina as she's going to for her expansion and straight expansion for scarlet as in comes the probe just scouting here a little bit more we see gas we see spawning pool yeah nina knows of course the build order from scarlet is going to be a little bit annoying with this one probe just being chased away so yeah nothing out of the ordinary as the overlord makes her its way towards the expansion point and then let's, let's just see exactly if nina is going to change something perhaps she's going to try to be a little bit more aggressive with some stalkers with some adapts once again the prism war prism have proven really really strong in game number one so she might try to do this one here as well or she might just try to go for some more oracles perhaps phoenixes phoenixes could also be strong just to pull those drones in the air and just to kill them so so many options for the protoss just to harass the zerg let's have a look double gas should be finished really really soon the expansion here as well a cybernetic score the overlord sees everything as this probe is also still here into this point checking now for that second expansion and let's see if nina once again is going to add perhaps a stargate into this location yeah by the looks of it the probe comes in and does indeed make that stargate at around the 2 minute and 20 second mark perhaps wishing once again to snap here the overlord from scarlet scarlet now moving out with her second expansion 2 minute and 35 seconds so yeah the pretty much the same build order for both players just like in game number one and let's see how things will unfold this time as we see one adept we see war gapes uh, warp cape being researched here by the protoss and yeah we see actually two uh, zerlings pretty much making the s through without any speed so interesting stuff here nina not really walling off not really protecting her entrance as two zerlings will make it the s through but this one adapt greatly to defend as we also have one void ray being prepared for nina just to kill this overlord really really soon and let's see once again the build order from Scarlet. She might try to do a timing push once again. The creep spread is now being prepared here for her as well. So it's really, really important for the Zerg to have that creep spread around the map just to make those units much, much more faster. And we see a difference here for Nina as she's moving out with to adapt, stopping, of course, as much creep as possible and trying to be perhaps a little bit more aggressive here abusive against those workers one is pretty much being prepared here as the gateway is about to finish we see another adapt just to close the gap and yeah the adapts are going to retreat home but one over void ray is already out for nina just scouting the location let's have a look at scarlet's main some spores are being prepared and some anti-air nina once again not opting to go for some oracles Quite surprisingly here for me given the fact that game number one went out really really nice for her with two oracles she could have perhaps sniped some more and more workers into this location this one as well even though there is a spore here she's actually moving out with some void rays two void rays and let's see what exactly they can do against scarlet as scarlet is out with some zerlings so yeah void rays once again it is here for nina as another fleet beacon is actually being added so she might transition straight into carriers could be a possibility here for her as the first void rays do show up into this location let's see can they snipe something of course void rays not as fast as oracles but having so much more damage against them and yes yeah, some zerlings just are going to be killed so nice first pickups here by nina as she's also deciding to expand so just showing her presence here towards scarlet keeping scarlet at bay while she is expanding 
I mean, yeah, this one spore has been picked up. Not that many defenses here. The yeah, oracles would have been really, really deadly. So, yeah, the void race pretty much just walk here forward. Sniping worker after worker. Scarlet being caught. A little bit of guard once again. Five workers have been killed. And one void race should be able to escape here. As she's just going to retreat here towards the main. Given the fact that so, so many zerlings are pulling in. So, yeah, she has to defend with those void race against those. Zerging, so nice, nice Zerging push here by uh, Scarlet, but yeah, the Zealot should be able to hold. Let's, yeah, let's have a look. Is she actually going straight for carriers? No, it is actually Tempest. We have Tempest it is here for uh, Nina. An interesting decision for her. Tempest, of course, with a very, very long range, pretty much strong against those Ravagers and Roaches in case there will be some ravagers and roaches we do see the gold now being taken by scarlet as the first void ray sorry the first tempest is already out on the map so very unusual picture now we see one void ray just roaming around the map but of course nina knows that there is no anti-air there are no corruptors there are no mutilisks so she can afford to just float around the air as the first observer is going to see the tempest by nina and yeah in comes the tempest let's have a look how many if she's going to be able to snap some workers still roaming around and let's have a look campus really, really strong hitting one one shooting drones here so such a nice unit to have not that much more of a mobile unit but really really good damage by this one tempest sniping work after work and look at that nicely abusing this ledge here having of course much much more range and even sniping worker after worker so great great Harassment here by Nina against Scarlet. Scarlet got a little bit of a card. Queens, of course, not being able to reach this unit. As more and more workers are being killed. Eight already, even nine. So the Tempest, the hero Tempest here for Nina. But she needs to be careful as she's taking more and more damage. She might try a double attack here into this location. Some roaches are being now thrown out. And yeah, let's have a look. The Tempest sadly here for her are just staying back. So those two Tempests would have also been deadly here into this location if you ask me. But then again, I'm sure she knows exactly what she's doing. I had no idea that Tempest can one shoot, one drone. And yeah, still one Tempest keeping here Scarlet at bay. But Scarlet is not going, going to get fooled about this. She's just going to push out once again with the time we push at the 8 minute mark. Ravagers, Roaches and Queens once again. So yeah, Scarlet keeping at her strategies. But this time she's against Tempest. And Tempest with a much, much larger range against those units. Two of them are in the air. Some Void Rays are also here. As yes, so, so much Zerg is here against on the ground. We do have shield batteries for Nina. Tempest do shoot, but yeah, of course they're shooting not that fast. There's another Tempest is moving out, but so, so many Roaches. So, so many Ravagers. There's more and more workers get sniped here for... Scarlet, so Scarlet really doing a nice, nice job. She doesn't have any anti-air besides Queens, but yeah, those Tempest looking really, really strong. But at the same time, uh, Scarlet coming in here through with many, many Zerglings to back up this attack. The timing push once again looking really, really strong. We have a carrier in the air. One Nexus has been snapped, and the probes have to be pulled. But look at that, Scarlet snapping. So, so many workers. Twenty workers already down. Or Nina. Nina will of course hold thanks to those Tempest but she has lost the expansion once again she has lost 20 workers so the timing push once again by Scarlet looking really really strong as at the same time she has that gold mine and she's also feeling confident to expand here into this location so yeah void raise it is now for Nina so so many air units by her interesting enough she decides not to go for Phoenixes Phoenixes so fast could have been able to pick up some units here, but then again, I'm sure he know, she knows exactly what she's doing, perhaps. Scarlet is going to transition into some Hydros, but no, she's actually going for Corruptors. So Corruptors it is against those Tempest by Scarlet. As once again, she's pushing out. We do have carriers, we even have Disruptors now, so Disruptors also really, really good against those Roaches and Ravagers. And the rocks are being cleared by... Scarlet is Scarlet really, really strong. The creep once again is reached here beyond the middle of the map as the Corruptors are now moving out. What exactly she's going to be doing? Perhaps vomit here onto this one 
uh, Nexus. It could be an interesting idea. Yes, simply she's going to vomit onto this one. Nexus dealing damage. Income the Void Race, but they're a little bit slow. There's so much vomit going on for Scarlet as she's able to snipe this one expansion. Even the Void Race now will take damage out of those units at the same time. Scarlet is pulling here over Nina, and this, of course, Scarlet will be able to take this game. So nice, nice vomit by Scarlet onto this Nexus. And yeah, score is 2-1. to one. But Let's just jump straight into game number 4. And we're back with game number 4 in between Nina and Scarlet. This time spawning here on Oxid, Oxide LE. Let's have a look what they have prepared this time. Scarlet currently leading 2-1, to one, showing us great, great timing pushes against Nina. With great counters towards anti air with Hydros, with those corruptors and that vomit in the last game really, really nicely executed by Scarlet. So we have Nina once again spawning here in the upper right as the red Rotos from the United States of America and Scarlet in the lower left as the blue Zerg from Canada. Let's have a look at the build orders once again, looking pretty much the same for Nina Island into Gateway. She might be a little bit more uh, eagerly here to go for a fast expansion, so she could have saved money for a fast ex expansion straight but it is of course really really risky as she's sending out that probe now towards scarlet scarlet also opening up just like in the previous games fast expansion should be into gas and spawning pool or is it let's have a look maybe she is going to try also something crazy or another expansion could be a possibility but by the looks of it no she took her gas there is that spawning pool so yeah the pretty same build order for both players just like in the previous game and yeah the overload is also nicely reaching a very important spot here just to see what nina is up to so yeah nina pretty much going for the same build order scarlet could of course try a fast pool it could have been an interesting option but yeah currently just the probe now scouting here and being annoying as much as possible some gas is being mined as well and yeah, pretty soon, just like in the previous game, the 2 minute and 30 second mark is the timer from the Zerg to expand once again. Let's have a look. Gateway it is, cybernetic score, check the main, we see a pile, and so once again Nina might try for a Stargate. This time I hope she's going for straight oracles, we've seen those oracles being much more successful than Void Race. And yeah, let's have a look, double gas is up for her, in comes the overload and yet the stargate should also be finished really really soon for her adapts are being made so no stalkers interesting enough for uh, nina there's the stargate and the stalker could have been really good early on against this one overload and yeah the two minute and 30 second mark there it is we have the perfect timer here for scarlet so the perfect build order for her just heading towards more and more expansions and she's also going for speed sweep spread is being prepared the question is, is she once again going to try a push? Nina should of course be prepared for that with some shield batteries. And yeah, of course, shield batteries are really, really strong against any early uh, Zerg push. And yeah, adapts are currently being made, so mass adapts could also be an option for Nina. And not, let's not forget that War Prism, it's interesting to see why exactly she's not going for that. And once again, she's starting with a Voidway, so... I believe the void ray is just being added just to snipe this overload but oh, I think that the phoenix is sorry the oracles would have been much much more better here as she's coming forward with a adept so yeah oracles of course they can just shoot the ground they have just energy but they can be really really deadly early on against the economy from the zerg we've seen this in the especially in game number one as five probes have been killed with the first attack and then later on with 10 even 16 more kills with some zerglings with some drones and so on but yeah and let's not forget that those orcs are really, really fast so they can give vision they can be used as scouting purposes as well with the revelance as well so yeah let's see we do finally now see an oracle for nina the question is is she going straight for another over um, oracle and yeah of course a pretty pretty late oracle as we are at the four minute mark that do block the entrance some gateways are being finished and let's have a look 
another void ray it is here for Nina. So once again, Nina deciding to go for void rays against Scarlet. The void rays, of course, will be strong against those roaches and ravagers, but let's not forget that uh, Scarlet is also sending out some queens in case this will be once again a climbing push by her. But yeah, she has pretty much shown us how strong this can be against the Protoss. In the in comes the first Oracle. Not being able to take out some kills, she might take out this one drone, but no, it's just flying by. And sadly here for Nina, she's not going to be able to take anything as she's preparing now the second expansion. So yeah, this might be the next target for Scarlet, but she also might try to attack here, given the fact that Nina is going to focus her defenses pretty much into this expansion point. At the same time, of course, Skull could try something out of the order, or she could try a push here with some overloads, just dropping some units. Let's have a look. Another Stargate with a gateway is being produced. So two Stargates and a gateway. Oracle sadly not being able to kill any units as Skull is holding on really, really strong. And once again, the creep spread is being prepared uh, by her. The question is, are we going to see once again a timing push? Roach Warrant is out, so the first Roaches are of course being produced by Scarlet. And yes, some Queens are being revealed, as Nina will also really want to know what exactly is going on. She's now heading towards the expansion point with three Void Rays. She might snipe this one, and then again she might go into this location, but there is a Spore here for um, Scarlet. But not that many Queens, actually no Queens at all, so this could be a nice attack point but no the voyagers headed straight towards this expansion point so yeah they should be able to snipe this so nice nice delayed timing by nina and she could move forward into this location like i said it's just one spore here the void race could have been much much successful or some queens would have had to be redrawn but still nina decides to play it really really safe retreating with the void race as we see more and more gateways being produced, the Overseer is nicely detecting everything here. This is the double Stargate, so of course Nina once again expecting a timing push by Scarlet. This is why so so many Voidways are being prepared for her. Let's have a look how many shield batteries she does. Here for example there is actually no shield batteries, just a robotics facility with that one observer. There should be many more shield batteries here, but actually a wall in is being prepared with some gateway so we're closing at a 10 minute mark the void race do of course want to have the middle of the map but scarlet is already moving out with her ravagers in the front with those queens and some roaches later on there will be some zerging so the pretty much the same strategy by her as the void race now see this and yeah she even has to recall so yeah in comes scarlet with her units with her troops Heading straight towards this space. Shield batteries are, of course, late, but it's really, really hard to anticipate for any the Protoss where exactly the attack is going to happen. So, so many Voidways in the area, but then again, it's so, so many Queens healing themselves up. And we do have actually two gateways here. Sadly for Nina, she has no shield batteries into this location. This could be really, really deadly once again. Those units will just walk here forward. The ground is there for the Protoss, but this once again so much works and no shield batteries for Nina, so Nina in some serious, serious trouble as she has perhaps overestimated herself as the first probes will fall as well. Gateway is also being snapped and this expansion looks like it's going to be doomed. So yeah, the timing push once again perfectly executed here by Scarlet against Nina. High ground is now there for Nina with the shield batteries, but it's just two of them as the Void Race try of course their best to fend this off more and more void rays being added even some zealots but the queens are in the back to back this up so so much damage once again being taken by nina and yeah not all of those units are attacking as nina is nicely sniping one unit after the other but at the same time losing some buildings and the queens are now being targeted shield batteries do their best job but the energy will fall really really quick as 21 workers have already been sniped 23 even and I might even try to pull some workers as more and more reinforcements are pulling in for Scarlet. So, so many fireballs, all of those Ravagers. And a nice stasis field blocking the entrance here. So, great, great job here by Nina. And the Phoenix, sorry, the Orcs being proven once again really, really strong. 
Look at that, so so many attacking forces being taken out. So yeah, the Oracle doing a really, really nice, nice job. But yeah, it looks like queen after queen is going to get snapped. So Nina still has a chance to hold this. As now there is no more anti-air force scarlet against Nina. So Nina should be able to snap this. But at what cost? The Nexus is taking quite some damage. And the Nexus is going to fall. So the second base has fallen here for the Nina. As Scarlet is just going to straight ignore those void rays. Just straight head towards the economy. Straight snapping those Nexuses. Nexus after Nexus has fallen. As the fireball steals so much damage from those Ravagers. So yes, Scarlet sacrificing those Ravagers but with a perfect perfect cause as she has sniped three nexuses for nina and nina just having this one base just mining out of one base so what a really crippling push by scarlet against nina all of those probes are still into this location as yeah nina now tries to go for a counter let's see if that's going to be successful some queens do roam around but now there's corruptors being produced so yeah scarlet straight Transitioning into anti-air, and there are those corruptors, there are those queens. This thing's looking really, really strong for Scarlet, and this has to be the GG. What a great, great push once again by Scarlet. Scarlet proving us to be a really, really strong, strong strategy against Protoss. Three times in a row, she has able to nicely execute this. But remember, this is a previous patch, so I don't know if the queens uh, they can't heal in the next patch. If they're not on creep so the things would have been a little bit more different this is exactly why blizzard has changed this queens can't heal themselves if they're not on creep so the outcome would have been far far different if you ask me but yeah this time scarlet proving of course with this strategy to be really, really strong of course a nice inspiration if you're a zerg against a protos at around seven minute mark the Scarlet has pushed out here against Nina and really, really successful. And then just straight going to transition into either Hydras or Corruptors to have anti-air. So yeah, once again, I hope you enjoyed this best of five series. This time Scarlet taking it really, really convincingly. And yeah, once again, thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening. This is your host, Tommy, signing out.